The Kenyans will have to wait up to a year to enjoy the cheap ugali promised by the Kenya Kwanza government. President William Ruto says it will take longer for Kenyans to begin to reap the benefits of the government's fertilizer subsidy program, which is his strategy to support farmers to the cost of production, ultimately lower the food prices in the country. The head of state has revealed that the government has already dispatched 1.5 million bags of subsidized fertilizer to different parts of the country. Safina Chengoma reports. President William Ruto was in Kibra's Soweto B area in Nairobi to launch the affordable housing project. It was here that he unsealed the can on when Kenyans are likely to start enjoying cheaper prices of maize flour, citing that this is just but a start of a long journey. <laughs> na hiyo safari hiyo safari ya kupunguza gharama ya unga na gharama ya maisha tayari nimeianzisha The head of state asking Kenyans to be patient at least for one year before they can begin to enjoy cheaper ugali citing that the lowering of food prices was dependent on the government's fertilizer subsidy program that is geared towards cutting the cost of food production. Mimi nataka niwaambie hivi. Wale walioharibu hii mambo ya unga mpaka ikafika shilingi shilingi 2000 shilingi 230 walikoroga hiyo mambo kwa miaka 4. Si ndio? Si waliharibu kwa miaka 4. Munipatie tu mwaka mmoja peke yake nitakuwa nimenyorosha. In the midterm, President Ruto says his government will empower farmers to affordably produce maize. Tayari tumepopatia wakulima wetu mbolea magunia milioni moja na nusu na tunawapatia ingine magunia milioni sita wazalishe chakula ndio chakula ifike hapa ikiwa bei nafuu na bei ya unga tuanze kuiteremusha. The president's latest pronouncements coming to the disappointment of millions of Kenyans already weighed down by the skyrocketing cost of living who had expected a quick fix from the Ruto administration after the president days after being elected gave all indications that he would lower the price of unga wiki ijayo nitawatangazia wakulima wetu wa Kenya ambao wanatuzaidia kuzalisha mahindi ngano na eh, cereal zote tutawatangazia bei mpya a 2 kg packet of unga is now retailing at 230 shillings 20 shillings higher than at the time former president uhuru kenyatta exited the office on september 13th 2022 the increased food prices has been partly attributed to the shortage of maize in the country forcing the government to mainly import the precious grain from Uganda, Tanzania and Zambia. As a strong critic of the move by former president Uhuru Kenyatta to subsidize maize flour, sustaining his push for a shift in policy from subsidizing consumables to supporting production as an alternative to achieve longevity in lowering the food prices. The government has since invested about 3.6 billion shillings to subsidize the price of a 50 kilograms bag of fertilizer to 3500 shillings down from the previous 6500 shillings. Safin Aching Oma Citizen TV